back into night moods sitting here at the bridge and you're listening to empowerment and inspiration on the second half of the last of the two hour show coming to you Monday through Friday nights and live streaming all of our platforms at the same time those of you who are watching getting an inside view of the radio show and podcast do you understand what you are creating in God. I want to kind of break this down for you because in times that we're in, there's so much going on. There's so much distraction, distress, and maybe just levels of chaos that surround individuals in their atmosphere and their territories and environments. And it keeps you from really doing what you were created to do. And so we're going to spend some time talking about that on this side of inspiration. And we open up the listener lines too, for those of you who want to call in at 3563-999-3685. A new show, two hours, Monday through Friday nights here, and we are live streaming as well. We're going to be welcoming in all of our podcast platforms saying hello to you welcome into the lab it's kind of drab but you know what it's a lab and inside the lab there's a lot of mixing of spiritual properties the books are open um, there's even a whole atmosphere of worship in the background different types of atmosphere that's conducive to help you get positivity into your state of mind and your mindset and at the same time help you understand practically how to live out your faith in God's kingdom. And so here I'm going to be working with you to understand what you are creating in God, whether you are a, a minister, you are an employed, you're a student, there is creativeness in you. There is creativeness in you, your creator placed in you, imagination, creative juices that enables you to form whatever it is that you could dream of and then you bring it to him that enables you how to better what's the word I'm looking for build and sustain what's upon your foundation and see this is between you and your Heavenly Father and we can help you identify with what you're supposed to be creating. And so here at the bridge, impacting, and we just finished up the relaxation side, breathing in the breath of life, trading our stresses, getting some relief from atmospheres, 
and the stress in those atmospheres. I was thinking about something that's why I said atmosphere is rapid jump. From the stresses in your situation, your circumstances, and the crisis that some of you are dealing with. And um, right now, you can go ahead and send an email over to nightmoodshdq at gmail.com. We wanted to do that for one specific reason. We have the Night Moods YouTube channel up. And they will be downloading, watching the back end of the radio show. You get the sneak peek of what's going on as I'm sharing on the microphone on the live end of the radio show. And before we get into this, do you understand what you are creating? We'd definitely like to have your support. You subscribe to this show that you're listening to right now on your favorite podcast platforms and help expand the ministry and the community of night owl the night moods through being becoming one of the night owls and like we, it's awesome because we are expanding and the night owls are especially our girl our female night owls the night owls to this show are really kind of cool they're kind of like ninja and stealthy and they help expand the show and we're not paying them to expand it which is really kind of cool because i would probably run out of money real quick if I was paying Night Owls to expand the show, but by virtue of what they're receiving, listening to Night Moves, Mind of Your Friday Nights on the radio side and in the podcast, I go deeper, deeper on kingdom stuff, bringing you an apostolic selection of deconstruction of the scriptures and through witness and testimony and to help you practically live your faith out. And so... Here we are at the bridge. The bridge represents the Holy Spirit connecting us to our destiny, connecting us to the other side, just as normal bridges do. And you need to understand your relationship to your Heavenly Father depends on your cooperation with the Holy Spirit. See, it's the challenge of a lifetime. Will you accept the challenge to cooperate Surrender, submit to the Holy Spirit. I'm not dumbing it down, saying that you you can't use your mind, your state of mind, your mindset. No, because He gives you the will, and He He gives you a brain for a reason to exercise and and be a person of excellence, and be a person of integrity, and be a person of morals, and having the value systems in place as you're living out your kingdom identity as a son and daughter. And so. The Holy Spirit in this deal helps you to understand what you're supposed to be creating when you really, really figure it out and deconstruct his purposes, responsibilities, and function for you. And so when you understand his function and purpose for you, he is going to be enabling you through all truth. He's guiding you through all truth. And so you can look at this with the understanding, put the lens on John chapter 16, verse 7 through 14. Now, I talk about this almost every transition to our shows. But if you understood how many do not understand the essence of, of a father that's inside of them in the Holy Spirit. And if you were to truly understand the essence of your heavenly father's glory... His glory is so massive that he gives to everyone who believes upon Jesus, who saves them, then transfers them into the kingdom of light, his spirit. And so when you really factor in the advantage that you have when you become saved and born again, when you factor this in, oh, it's tremendous. You get to be a participant and apply yourself in creating the imagination and dreams and goals and visions according to Father's will for your life and is if you just would just cooperate with the Holy Spirit if you could just get this how you understand what you are creating is has very impact of how you understand who you're created and in, engaged encountering and experiencing and so this begins with you everything in this kingdom has everything to do with you and if you could just get this I know many of you night owls are getting it but if you could just 
nail this in like you're, you're nailing that that nail into the wood and you want to make it flush so that it's smooth and then you can paint over it and not ever know that there was a nail there but yes you're going to tape it and then you're going to paint over it i get it but even when you tape it you're you're still not seeing the impact that there used to be a, an impression of a nail because you either drilled it in a screw or you nailed it into the stud and so it's like that in this world that we call the kingdom and it's a greater kingdom and your responsibility is so valuable without measure in how you are creating the very thing that father designs for you to do while you're living and how many of you understand what to do in your life like what you have been born reborn to do do you have the assignment do you have the mantle the mandate the instructions the charge the orders from your heavenly father and the holy spirit manifest this before you and when you understand the assignment the mandate the orders the charge you get knowledge and you get comfortable with what you are created to do and what you are in 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 what you're created to do what you're creating and so where, what is it that you want to create that you could not create because you never crossed the bridge because maybe you were afraid of what was on the other side of the bridge, the unknown? Because for everything that you knew that you were in control of what you did and what you have always done, always got completed or tried at your own expense. But now we find ourselves in this setting where for those of us in the kingdom, led by the Holy Spirit, see, you are led. That means you have to walk in agreement, in cooperation, in step, practicing the faith and the trust, the keyword trust, that the Holy Spirit is leading you into all truth. And as he leads you into all truth, check this out, you get a better understanding of what you are creating, whether that's a business, whether that's a person of influence, a life coach, a family, what you are creating, a godly family, a godly business, a godly friendship, a godly, I don't know, could it possibly be a godly neighborhood if your block is lined up with a whole bunch of godly people who actually get along, not respective of ethnicity, economic background, you know what I'm saying? And so when you develop a habit of how to cooperate with the Holy Spirit and you understand in as you're developing this, this habit of how to cooperate, how to come into agreement, how to walk in step with purpose to what he is positioning inside of you, even manifesting purpose, function, and responsibility for you, it's like... You begin either to pick up the seed on the ground or plant the seed on the ground. And if you're picking up the seed on the ground, it's for you to begin to replant the seed that you're picking up because you're going to be putting it into the a ground that is enriched with new, uh, with water that can absorb the seed. And if, when it absorbs the seed, what does it do? It helps manifest the seed and the seed becomes a little... I don't know, a honeydew, like a rose, a flower. It could be anything because you're planting it. And so then you have to coordinate your state of mind and your mindset with what the Holy Spirit's doing. And so you begin to understand what you are creating. And so you can call those things that be not as though they are. You can begin to speak to your present and your future and understand that there's goals and measurable goals that you can achieve and dreams that you can place out there in the distance and achieve those goals because you understand better in your life because you're putting in the word. You're in pursuit and you understand how to live in your kingdom privilege. You're putting in the work, you're putting in the pursuit, 
and you understand how to live in your kingdom privilege. And this helps with what is the understanding to you knowing what you are creating. And it's hard to create anything as like what Jesus said. Without me, you can do anything. You can't do anything without me. It's in John chapter 15. Let me go there with you in a moment here. I'm going to break that down with you so that you can understand this. So he says this to his followers in John chapter 15. Um, and this is really kind of cool. I'm not going to go in. I've already expounded, deconstructed John 15 in other episodes. So you can go to other episodes on this platform and you can kind of get that deconstruction of John 17. Teaches you how to live as a co-heir, as a son and daughter, and what you can expect to receive as living as a co-heir. And Jesus reveals the four protocols, the first four protocols of the kingdom in John chapter 15. But here he says something really interesting for those of you who don't know what you are creating um, do, 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 do. remain in me and I in you just as the branch is not able to bear fruit from itself unless the branch remains in the vine so neither can you unless you remain in me now he said it there one time if you remain in me and you can be able to put on display the fruit unless you remain in Jesus. So when you understand what you are created to do, he said this in verse five here again, the one who remains in me and I in him, this one who remains in me bears much fruit, puts on display much fruit for apart from me, you are not able to do anything. Now, these are the words of Jesus. And I know if you're not a believer to Jesus, you're going to argue this truth. And everyone outside of truth has their perspective of truth. And your perspective of truth doesn't equate to complete truth and truth as a person in Jesus. So saying that to say my reality and my testimony, I am telling you what I know, that when you understand your connectivity, your connection, your agreement, your cooperation to the Holy Spirit, you're going to have the knowledge and the understanding better of what you are creating. And maybe you are creating something for the youth. Maybe you're creating something for family members. Maybe you're creating something for um, brothers and sisters who are living without, right? Or maybe you're creating a new uh, invention. See, Father is imagery, is he, he is imagination. He is creativity. So out of him births imagination. Out of him birth creation. And out of creation birth, births creativity. And so as you're living your life, I would suggest this to you. As you're living and learning who you are, your identity as a son, a daughter, your identity as a minister, because your first position is to be a son and daughter first. And as you go, you serve. And if you're identified as a son and daughter and you have been given a treasure to uh, equip others, maybe you're a leader, maybe you're a business owner, maybe you're going to school to further your education or you're looking to get your degree because you're listening to the show and you realize I have goals, I have dreams, and I have deadlines to meet. And see, that's why we're here. We're here to help you establish who you are in God's kingdom. But in order for you to establish who you are in God's kingdom, you, my friend, have to put in the work. You have to ask the questions. You have to connect the right way. You have to surrender, submit, have spiritual obedience on point. And if it's not on point, be a working toward having spiritual obedience that's on point. And you have to be in righteous order. Righteousness is in the kingdom is also being in alignment to the manifestations of the Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ that brings us into the proximity and having access to our Heavenly Father. And so there are so many scenes playing. There are so many things that have to be at play. And Jesus says this really kind of cool in 15 verse 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. The one who remains in me and I in him because he is in his father, John chapter 14, and his father is in him, and together they are in us, 
powered up by the Holy Spirit who is remanded to earth for your benefit. He is the one who amplifies heaven to earth and he's the amplification from earth to heaven. Let me back it up and say it again. He's the amplification from heaven to earth and the amplifier from earth to heaven. So when you understand he's remanded to your advantage, you have an advantage to create. You have an advantage to redo Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. Let's go back and see that one because I want you to get this. And so this advantage of the Holy Spirit, and he's sown out of this, he is everything that's going to help you get to your destination. He is who brings you to truth. So when you, like I said, it's your responsibility. So this is what God the Father has to say. Heavenly Father, Abba Father. He said, let us make mankind, humankind in our image, in our imagination, in our imagery. And according, okay, hold on, in his image, I first have to say in his tashlim. In his tashlim is in his likeness, in his image, in his imagination. You have his imagination. And he says, and according to our likeness. According to our likeness is Demoth. And Demoth is like, according to his model, according to his shape his form, his resemblance, to become like, to com be compared to or likened to, and let them have dominion, ruleship. This word rule, when you're connected to the Holy Spirit, is Rada. Rada is dominion. So he is saying, let them have Rada over the fish of the sea, have Rada over the birds of heaven, have Rada over the cattle, and over all the earth, raw da over the earth, you have dominion over the earth, and over every moving thing that moves on earth, period. So God created mankind in his own image, in his own imagination, in his own imagery. Do you understand what you are creating? You are replicating the likeness and the imagination and the imagery of your heavenly father because Jesus saved you out of the kingdom of darkness, transferred you into the better kingdom. And in that transfer, the kingdom highest level of transaction occurred. He equipped your heart, you are possessed by the Holy Spirit, to enable you to have the knowledge to understand what you are supposed to be creating. I really hope someone's getting this. So this raw dog, this, this dominion, and this Teshlem, this Teshlem, this raw dot and this imagination, this Teshlem, you're in his image, this Teshlem, is that you have his imagination, you have his imagery, you have his likeness in you because of the power of the Holy Spirit. This is why I say he's a game changer. The Holy Spirit is the game changer. Religion cannot get you into the kingdom because religion at best has not entered the kingdom itself and keeps you from entering the kingdom yourself. And say hello to Luke 18. So if you're stuck in religion, you're gonna have difficulty understanding what you are creating. Because if you're in religion, you're gonna be creating what they want you to create. And it's man's bent interpretation, interpretation of the books, of the doctrines, of the kingdom doctrine. So your understanding connection with or the connectivity with the Holy Spirit will bring forth such a, an immense level of knowledge. And the knowledge is not there to drop you and, and be this heavy weight that you can't get up because it's, it's too heavy. And everything that God does is heavy. Well, his majesty is heavy and we feel it and it subdues us. But the Holy Spirit, when you're connected, when you fully understand and this clicks inside of you, you begin to have that knowledge. And when you have the understanding of the knowledge, that, that births wisdom. And that wisdom is going to be what enables you to understand what you are to create. What are you creating? A present, future word. 
creating something that leaves legacy, something that you can give back to your children. And money is not the source I'm talking about because money will find its way to an endpoint and you can't take the money with you. But for some reason, God possessed you that you can take eternity. You can take eternity when you have the power of the Holy Spirit. Take upon eternity. You can enter and you can be in eternity and you leave that spiritual prosperity for your children, how they can enter into where you are going. And so one is begetting another, who is begetting another, who is begetting another, understanding what they are created for, understanding what they are created to do, and one who knows what they're created to do leaves the blueprint for another to do what they have been taught and created for and so on and so forth and you have this beautiful domino effect of how to understand what you are created to do it is not so complex that you can never achieve understanding and having the knowledge of what you have been created to do so another way to look at it is, do you understand what you are creating? Do you understand what you are created to do? Do you understand what you are created for? Your purpose ought to be in alignment and harmony with the Holy Spirit. Because he is in alignment and harmony with Heavenly Father and Christ Jesus, who sits at Father's right hand side. So think about this. Take a minute and just write down a list of what you are creating and then take that list and ask father is this your purpose take a minute and write that list down what am i creating and we're take a short minute to give you that where you can write down what you are creating and then we're going to add on the flip side you're going to ask your Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit this question is this what I'm created for and you're gonna have either peace around it or you're gonna have this instantaneous mm, that's not what I'm supposed to be doing there's gonna be something urging you to move in the right direction when you begin to write the list go ahead and write the list down what are you creating some of you will rewrite the list down what am I created to do or what I what am I created for it's going to be how you understand it. take a minute to write it down more seconds write down as many things that you are creating presently about 10 more seconds okay three two one now that you've written that down do you understand what you are creating that's one column you can write a solid line underneath that or write a line to the right a long line going straight down your paper and you can begin to now write this next question to your Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit. Is this a part of your will for me? Is this a part of your will for me? That list that you created, do you know what you are creating? Because if you know what you're creating, it's going to be in the will of your Heavenly Father. And He's given you a leverage. He's given you the resources and the provision and the pathway in which to walk through it in order to get it so that you can continue to replicate that creation. Two columns. The first column, you're making a list. Do you know what you are creating? The second column, you're going to ask a question to your Heavenly Father or the Holy Spirit. Is this according to the pattern? Is this according to the will of my Father? And you're going to begin to marry and match the question to your Heavenly Father to what you are creating. 
and if it doesn't match, then you're going to have assistance with creating other creations according to Father's will. It's really kind of a cool assignment. Two lines, two columns, you're writing down on one side, do you know what you are creating? And you can have maybe three things. You can have maybe a dozen things. This is between you and your father. This is out of your relationship. So, and then on the other side of the column, you're gonna write, is this according to the pattern? He knows the pattern. He's demonstrated details of his patterns throughout the gospels, even in the old covenant. You go back to the book of Exodus. And he gave the pattern to Moses, Moshe, of what to do. Even the plans for the temple to David that Solomon, his son, built. And so this helps you to understand in real time. And you can look to this two columns and see if you understand and do you have the knowledge in the Holy Spirit and do you, were you given the blueprint to create a present creation into your future. It's kind of exciting. And so you can use this and it can become the structure to the foundation that you have. Maybe you're gonna be building, I don't know, a, a business from the ground up. Maybe you're adding to the business. Maybe you're adding to your family. Do you know what you are creating? Are you ready to be another father? Are you ready to be another mother? Maybe you're deepening a stronger connection in your marriage. Heaven knows we need more stronger connections in our marriage. Maybe you're creating a pathway of success for your family, for your neighbor. Maybe there is a class project that you have to create. And this class project is a game changer. This glass, pro this class project breaks the glass ceiling that you have. Maybe you never broke the ceiling before, and there's some elevation, and there's that degree that's sitting there. See, I don't know what you're creating. That's why this assignment is, has everything to do with you, and I hope you participate and you put forth the effort. And you can always go back and spend more time writing down your list. But remember to ask, is this according to your plan? Is this according to your pattern, Father? And he's going to marry your pattern to what you're creating in real time. We'd love to hear how you come up out of this, what comes out of this treasure trove that Father's given you to create, the gifts that come with it, and who you are impacting by what you are creating. See, every one of us was given something to create. And maybe you have low self-esteem. Well, you have to tell low self-esteem, stop. We have no time for that anymore. This is time sensitive. I have to create this machine because Father's given me time sensitive deadline to create it. And he supplied you with mercy, with favor, with grace, with courage, with strength, with counsel, and the fear of the Lord to get the job done. Isaiah 11 and 2. So with you and your creation, it's time to get to work. You're in the month of June. This is the bridge month. See, when we get through the month of June, then we begin preparing for what? The end of the year. So you have two weeks and some time to impact you and what you are creating and get your father's hand up with approval on what you're creating because it should line up with his will and you know what don't get bent out of shape if it's not lined up to his will because he's giving you time to ask the better questions of what you're creating and he's not going to withhold his hand from you he's not that's not him unless you're being just i don't know anti against him but see you can establish something great in the present day, right now. You can establish something profound. All you have to do is ask your Heavenly Father, is this a part of your pattern? Is this the way that I need to create? Is the Holy Spirit leading me down this path? There's peace in that path. There's justice in that path. There's, I don't know, there's joy in that path. 
that path, excuse me, anything that the Holy Spirit is leading us into, oh, it's going to put on display his fruit all the more. And his fruit have been discovered and given to us in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. This is kind of cool. This helps you to understand with knowledge and, and understanding, this becomes wisdom. This becomes something that you can't put money on because you're asking your father, is this you? And if it's him, he's going to open the treasures of the storehouse for you to continue to create the very thing he's called you to create. And though it may take some time to create it, don't lose heart. You may need to take a rest and be strengthened and go inside into your secret place. You may need to do the Isaiah chapter 30 and 15, and he may need to strengthen you in your quietness and in your trust. When your trust begins to, to wane a little bit, that's when you stop and you unplug from the world and you just get, be, you get quiet. You get before you the presence of your heavenly father in your secret place, and you just say, here it is. Holy Spirit, help me. See, but you got to be in the counsel of your Heavenly Father. That's uh, Psalms chapter 82, verse 1 through 3. You, you want to be in the counsel of your Heavenly Father so that you can be in the middle of the pathway, plowing like a farmer, dropping seed, building the structure appropriately according to your Father's good plan. And when you have His good plan, you're going to hold on to it and you're going to cherish it and you're going to cultivate it even in seasons of dryness because he may take you through a season of dryness while you're creating i never said he's gonna say open up the gates and go create he could say open up the gates and go create and then there could be seasons of drought there could be seasons of famine there could be seasons of blessings of plenty and but you're, we're all going to go through seasons when we are creating according to his plan that's the beautiful point because he's with us in it so that's why i say unplug take what you've written down and address him with it father is this you am I, what am i doing holy spirit lead me manifest in me i'm stuck i'm confused i i, I want to give up because we all go through those right but don't lose heart he has your best interest at hand because he gave you part of his essence in the power of the Holy Spirit who is leading and guiding you into all truth, do you better understand what you are creating according to Father's pattern and his plan for your life? Go on, go out, go forth. Begin to write the blueprint down. Write the schematics, write the structure. Be as detailed as you possibly can be in creating the very thing that God has caused you to create. And I'm going to use this word I hear so much in this society. When you are creating the thing that God has caused you to create, you become one of his change agents. The streets are paved, they're lit up, they're marked. And that's because of you're doing the creating. And he also supplies with you helpers to help you create. So don't create with a closed fist. Be open, but use discernment. Test all things, prove all things, hold fast to what is true in the Holy Spirit. And that creation will be your success. Take that with you as we close down this episode. I'm going to leave that with you because that's enough in a nutshell. And I think you will enjoy this. And I want to hear from you. I want, it, I want you to subscribe. Um, if you have received something crazy cool, something crazy good that you can apply to the thing that you're doing. Night Moves hdq at gmail.com or send me a message inside this show right here and i'd love to hear from you a praise report maybe you you are got some lights turned on maybe some powerpoints have been exposed in this journey of you creating the very thing that god has called you to create by the power of his holy spirit and whatever that is for you is for you guard it cherish it and i want to share this one thing with you be sure that you understand that sacrificing the creation that he has given you to create, giving it back to him, will cause him to give you something greater upon it. 
test on things, prove on things, hold fast to what is true. Check out the next episode right here inside Night Moods HDQ, whether it's here on the podcast channels or on the radio show. It's been fun being with you on this night, a new night. Be a blessing to someone out there. Love yourself. Draw close to your Heavenly Father. Get in the secret place, by the way, and write that creation down. And then ask Father, is it according to his purpose? Is it in his plan? Is it according to his pattern? Night Owls, that's all I got for you tonight. That's enough. You've had a buffet. What more do you want? I can't feed you anymore. I'm out of food. Someone give me some more food if you want me to feed you some more. Have a good night. I'll see you right here back in the lab in the captain's chair on the next episode. Until then, be well.